Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brandon. Uh, today I have sort of like an unboxing for you, but it's not an unboxing because it didn't come in a box. I went to my local store and purchased it all, my local little bait store. It's kind of like a bait store, but it's, it's not really a bait store. It's kind of like a Bass Pro Shop. It's called an outdoor activity. It's a little like mom and pop business, it's not a big franchise. But I just want to show you all what I bought. I got some watermelon red zoom worms. Another pack of those. Uh, these are also watermelon reds. I got a bunch of zoom worms, a bunch of different finesse worms, just you know, soft plastic worms. Uh, another watermelon red. Let me save those for later. Let's get some more on. Uh, junk, uh, June bug red zoom worms. All these packs go for about uh, two and change, like two two dollars and forty cents. Now we're getting to the smaller zoom pack, as you can see there's a uh, size difference and quantity difference. Um, I got some U-tail red shad uh, pl soft plastic zoom worms. I got some U-tail motor oil. Hmm, motor oil, that's an interesting name. It's, uh, it's kind of like a dark green brownish with a light neon green tail. Got some uh, June bug lizards, six inches. Oh, and the little packs are all six inch worms. And the big packs were. It doesn't say. I think they're like six and a half or seven inches, something like that. Um, and then two more zoom packs, which is salty super fluke. It's the white pearl flukes, which I will show you everything about these worms in soft plastics in a minute and then I got some baby bass flukes really like baby bass color I have to go through and organize all those as you could tell I got more of these watermelon reds than anything and I'll explain why due to the color and I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on that um, those are my favorite brand of worms of the zoom but they had these little worms these little uh, four inch worms called lucky strike is the brand this is a four, four inch twirl tail, 15 pack of black worms. Uh, they were dirt cheap. Figured I'd give them a try. I got one, two, three, four, I got five packs of them. I got black ones, purple fire, they're like a hot pink. Electric blue, it's a sparkly blue, that actually looks pretty cool. I don't know how well these actually work. Another purple fire, another electric blue. Um, I'm gonna do a, uh, I'll do a review on them once I use them. I don't know how well I'm going to like them. Like I said, these are like a dollar and a quarter, something like that. Dirt cheap. Figured I'd give them a try just to see how I like them. Uh, if I don't like them, you know, I'll give them to somebody else out there on the lake. All right. Then I got, I'm not big into frogging very much. I've never had the best luck doing it. Um, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe you can leave me some tips in the comments or send me a link to a video on frogging maybe. But I uh, went ahead and got a frog. It's a, a man's bait company, Super Frog. Um, doesn't say the size of it or nothing. But uh, it's also partnered with Laser Sharp, the uh, pack. Laser Sharp. So that's what kind of uh, hooks are in it. Uh, some guy there actually talked me into buying this one. I was going to buy a different one, but he talked me into this one. It doesn't look very real to me, but he said it works. So that paint's going to wear off in a little bit. You only get about 12, 12, 13 bass on it. But I'm gonna give it a try. All right. Now off to finish some of the baits. I got it's a lipless topwater crankbait. It is uh, a cotton cordel. It's a super spot half ounce lipless crank. And I got uh, a one fourth ounce cotton cord cordel lipless crank. It's a different color. Then I got a rattle trap. These are the more expensive ones. They come in these fancy little hard plastic cases. You know, hold on, it says lift to open the scene. Oh, wow, hooked myself, look at that. All right, I just wanna show this one, show this to you. I really like the paint job on this. They did a very nice job. It's a uh, rattle trap, supernatural mini trap, one fourth ounce. 2.5 inches, uh, lipless crank, top water. Got another one, so a different color. See the two, the differences right there. Do a review on all those once I use them. 
Uh, then I got a zero to three feet bomber lips crank. It's a square bill crank. Zero to three feet square bill crank, different color, different size. This one is. Uh, it doesn't say. I think this one's like a. Uh, I don't know. This one's just a little bigger. It doesn't even say. And then I got this. Is the first one right here? I got the same exact one, just a different color. All right, that's it for all the baits. Then I got uh, a bunch of hooks. I got some mustard live bait hooks. I don't even know why I got these. They were on sale. I don't ever use a live bait, but figured I could give them to somebody. Uh, that was one aught. These are two aught live bait hooks. These are three aught live bait hooks. They were all on sale. Let's see. Now let's get into the hooks that I actually use. These are some four aught four aught wide gap worm hooks. I'll use for some of those zoom worms. That was a four aught. This is a three aught rotating worm hook. Oh, I shouldn't have got those. I didn't realize they're rotating worm. Oh well. Um, this is a three aught rotating worm hook and three aught rotating worm hook and um, two aught round bend hooks. And then I got this was dirt cheap. It's a bass assortment. Figured I'd just go through and see what all comes in this. It was like a buck. Like I said, don't want it. I'll make a little probably box up of some stuff I don't really want and I'll give it away to somebody. And I got two packs of bullet weights for my finesse worms. Um, oh, and then one other thing I got was this big uh, plano box and the smaller plano box. That's, uh, that's about it. That's what I got for this, for this, uh, this trip to the store. That's what I got. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry this video kind of dragged out a little bit, but hey, stay fishing. Thanks.